Hi, this is Mateusz from Shipstead Tech Polska, and today I want to give you a four or five minute summary of my Java Developers Day talk titled 10 Things I Would Tell My Younger Self About Java Web Development. So it's basically 10 pieces of advice I would give my younger self how to do Java web development in a simpler and more effective way. So number one, when choosing a web library, choose the one that does not try to hide HTTP from you. Things like response codes, things like response headers should be first class citizens in your web library. Don't choose stateful component frameworks that hide HTTP from you and that try to generate, for example, JavaScript. Learn HTML, learn CSS, learn JavaScript, and your life will be much easier. The second most important thing, in my opinion, when choosing a web library is to pick a right concurrency model. So most Java developers are familiar with a thread per request model, which is very easy to reason about. But if your application is doing lots of I.O. orchestration, for example, then you may consider a different concurrency model, for example, an event loop. And you can try things like Node.js as an alternative to what you already know. Number three, DI IOC containers. So one of the biggest epiphanies I've had in my programming career is that DI IOC containers are optional. And you can get away with simple argument passing and manual dependency injection. Especially in the new microservice world, you may not need a Spring jar on your class path or a Juice jar on your class path. Number four, web servers. So my advice here is to use embedded web servers as a simpler alternative to traditional application servers. So try things like Simple Framework or embedded Jetty. Number five, template engines. So my advice here is don't choose a template engine that is full of different features. Choose the one that gives you enough power to express your view logic, but the one that doesn't give you enough power to shoot yourself in the foot. Logic. So my advice here is to log to standard output and standard error and let your operating system do what it's really good at. So instead of using things like file appenders or syslog appenders, use redirect and pipe from your operating system. Web testing. Be pragmatic when it comes to web testing. If you have something like a RESTful web service to test, or if you have a simple website where JavaScript is optional, you may use a simple HTTP client to do your web testing. And it's a much simpler alternative to things like Selenium or JEP. Number eight, dependencies. So I'll tell my younger self to question all dependencies on your class path. I know that many people like to use transitive dependency resolvers. But here's an interesting idea. Try to bring the pain forward and not use transitive dependency resolvers for some time. And it will teach you a lot. Number nine, still like an artist. As Austin Kleon says, you are the sum of your influences and you're only as good as the ideas that you surround yourself with. I think that our job as programmers is to collect those good ideas. But when we try to collect all those good ideas, it's just very tempting to run with the herd do what everyone else is doing. Well, I would tell my younger self to find all those outliers, to find all those people who do things differently and to learn from them. And that's my last message to my younger self. Thank you.